Hey folks, Keith Bruno, Community Natural Club Mon Rockies. And today we're gonna to continue our talk about native bees, but today we're gonna to build a native bee box. So a um, couple tools I have on hand uh, for those interested. Measuring tape, speed square, marking utensil, drills, and a piece of wood. In this case, I went with a one inch by eight inch, eight foot piece of cedar. Doesn't have to be cedar, whatever material you have on hand is great. Cedar certainly weathers better. So um, just make sure you've got something that's six plus inches wide because you gotta have an adequate depth to pack your nesting material into it so it stays out of the drip line. You wanna make sure and keep everything dry. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like over a couple of steps and uh, then I'll show you the finished product. Now remember, when using power tools, safety first, cover up those eyeballs. I'm gonna begin by pilot drilling some of this wood. Um, just to make sure we don't crack it. Obviously the flatter the surface you have to work on, the better. Now the other side. Again, these, these runs right here are 12 inch and my top and bottom are 10 inch. All right, there you got your box. So you got your simple box here. And when, it get, when you get to the roofing portion, you can add any bit of detail you'd like to. Um, in this case, I decided to um, put a 45 degree uh, miter cut on my panels. Um, so they'll butt like so. Um, and that ends up as a um, eight and three quarter inch length um, for from your peak there down to your square cut. And that gives you a nice um, three quarter to inch long overlap on either side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fasten these together. Um, with some screws, but you can also do it with a finished nailer if that's what you prefer. So, get you up to speed, getting ready to put the backing on. But right now we've got our roof on, right? And uh, with the leftover material I have <clears throat> for my eight foot length, I had enough to build out my backing. And the backing is going to allow you to um, stuff your contents in. And you'll see what that looks like in just a second. Pre-drilled the back, and now I'm going to sink screws. Again, I'm using um, exterior screws. In this case, I'm using uh, stainless steel, but uh, you know any kind of coated screw would also do well. And not necessary, but uh, it'll keep your screws from um, staining. Uh, from where the water runs over it uh, over time. So it might help keep it looking a little bit cleaner. 